Silly Suit and play Nova Drift. And Zero Protagonist point out some flaws with my last attempt at this build, so I want to try. Try, try again. Yeah, I'll go with Salvo. It's still a pretty good one. A little weaker than it used to be, at least early game, but fairly reliable nonetheless. Do I even want to try a different shield now that Shockwave has been weakened a bit? It is helpful for pushing enemy projectiles around. Halo does allow us to do more damage though. Could always just go with Reflect. Let's try Halo. It's probably not ideal, but I do want to experiment with it. Good old Spectre. To Death Blossom, not really what we were hoping for. Do you want the regeneration? Take the regenerative shields, sure. We will need that when it comes to dealing with self damage. Do we want a Solar Heart already? I think I just take the Shield Effect Radius. I won't blink. But do I want it yet? Again, we're offered Solar Heart, Hull Strength. Probably not as important as Shield Durability. Zero did recommend going Omni Shield, so we'll give up most for a Hull anyway. Lower shield cooldown, but larger radius. That's a question. I'm tempted just to see if that larger radius is worthwhile. I do want weaponized shields, but I also want candescence. Let's get the candescence first and then get the revelation look for some solar hearts or defiances there are options we want the increased shield cooldown we want the adrenal module and we want the reflexive shields let's go ahead and get reflexive shields I do enjoy the larger radius for this shield, even if it does mean that we have sacrificed a little bit of max shields, and that may be what kills this kind of build. We'll see. Barrier. I don't know if that's wise here. Weaponized shields is good, as is the increase in thrust. Let's get the improved thrusters first. Do we want Omni Shield now? I guess.
Do we want masochism? Do we want three masochisms? I think so. 9% more damage from enemies, but 24% less self-damage. If we go Dying Star, that could be very, very useful. Corrosion, sure. Forgot I had a boost for a second there. Going way too fast. Just set all these segments on fire. Do we want barrier? Do we want sanctuary with this? I assume we do. Even nerfed, Kama is still helping us out here. Weaponized shields, kinetic boost, adrenal module, or solar heart. Let's go ahead and take one solar heart. Do a little extra damage, both to the enemies and to ourselves. We want the armor, we want efficiency. Get the armor. Not the ones we're wanting. We do want the improved shield cooldown though. Deadly Wake. We're not going to go Tempest Break though, are we? Faster cooldown is not something we need as much. Only thing I really want is Shield Effect Power. I do want to get down to Blink though. And Deadly Wake is more useful if we give up our weapon. So let's take it. Just zoop around and kill these enemies with our shield. Do we want purification? It's a little early, but it's also powerful. Are we ready for hidden power? It's probably too early for hidden power, isn't it? So let's take it get weaponized shields instead. It's 
stay near the enemy without actually revealing ourselves. We almost got it. Almost. It's almost dead. And now it is. Adrenal module makes sense here, as does Kinetic Boost. Kinetic boost mostly to get down towards Blink. And I do want some way of maneuvering without revealing myself. Don't mind me. Just sitting here slowly burning through all of you. I'm sure there's no cause for alarm. Focus shields could be nice. Though it does make our job harder. I want stabilization to get down to strafe, and I want channeling to get down towards core shielding. Let's take the channeling first. Or shielding or blink. Let's get blink first. Oh, connect boost doesn't get to blink. Connect boost gets to uh, Aegis. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, wait a minute, Kinetic Boost can't be right, but I couldn't remember what in the world I was thinking of. Not too shabby. Get the agility? Sure. Didn't get the timing on that one down. <laughs> now these enemies are always going to be annoying. Because without Dying Star, we have to get close to them to trigger them. Bit of an issue. Get Strafe, that will unlock Displacement. Yeah, I did not know that strafe would not trigger the loss of cloak so I am very happy to learn this gives me another tool in our tool chest 
to play with. There we go. Ooh, now the fun one. Just slowly burn our way through. Not too bad. We don't want streamline here. Efficiency could be good. As could core shielding. And we do need that for Dying Star. So that is what we shall look for. There's the displacement. So now we just pop ahead and leave a little damaging shockwave. And it does not trigger... No, I don't. Thank you. I hate it when it does that. I don't know. Some combination of keyboard key I use does that for some reason. Anyway, if I'm going for Sanctuary, I do need Aegis, so... Something to keep in mind, at least. At least it helped remind me. Though I will need to go back and check and make sure nothing revealing occurred. It's always annoying when that happens. But so it goes. The joys of live recording. Well, here's the moment of truth. I would rather have efficiency first, but maybe three massachisms will be enough. Let's find out. surviving so far. Yes, it has been buffed a bit. Burning damage increased proportionally to proximity target, missing hull and shields. We don't want the flash shielding. Volatile shields we might want for the maximum shields. I think we just take the orbs though. We already have one, two, three, four, five wild mods, so that'll be a decent increase in damage. Happy for Ataraxia here, just because I can get a lot more experience orbs without having to travel anywhere near as far. Let's go ahead and take that efficiency.
conversion? I guess is not the worst thing in the world. As could be Gemini Protocol. We'll try Gemini Protocol here. Maybe it'll help with Adrenal Module a little bit. Well, there's Maelstrom. I'm not going to say no to it. Wave 100. Hello, Seraph. Not used to having so many convoys, but not going to complain about them. I guess hull strength is something, as is volatile shields, just a little more max shields. This is where I want the shockwave shield. Now that the uh, large reset blast only occurs when your shield breaks. I don't think it's as strong for this kind of build as it used to be, but I'm welcome to be proven wrong. I often am, after all. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. I have rerolls. Let's use them. Let's get the kinetic boost so I can go down to Aegis. I know I just turned down a solar heart, but I would like to get Sanctuary as well. After that, I probably do just focus on wild mods, maybe maneuverability. I guess max hull would be fine, but it's not really going to matter much. Just applying that extra burn damage. <laughs> Just watch the little orbs go spinny. Apotheosis. I don't think I want that. Let's just take the Aegis and look for Sanctuary.
actually get enough regeneration there from purification that our hull came back. That's amusing. I also learned today, just from reading the Discord, about how emergency shields can still trigger off of constructs, which for some reason I thought was not something that could happen. I assumed it was something like antimatter rounds that only applied to you. But apparently not. So, going back to Shockwave and trying a shield break build with constructs and getting emergency systems for survivability is possible. I may want to try that someday. We shall see. Do I want focus shields now? I think I'm fine with taking it now. Smaller radius, but more of it. I think that helps us. After this, I think... What do I look for? Sanctuary and... Is it only more wild mods that we want now? Maybe. May want to take a chaotic ambition. And just look for wild mods from now on. I'm trying to think of anything else we would need from the normal mod tree. Again, more max hull would be fine. It'd be helpful, but that helpful. I I doubt it. For now, Solar Heart handles these fairly well. In conjunction with Dying Star. As the enemy damage scales and their health and all that, we start running into trouble. But for now, they're decently tolerable. There's Solar Heart. I guess we'll try it. Just darting around.
need to try not to thrust. Both for cloak reasons and for Aegis reasons. Just trying to stay away. Just bouncing back and forth, forth and back. Now here I do think I need to thrust. <laughs> Probably not wise to just fall into the singularity. The improved Dying Star does seem more viable. I'm still not sure how late game it can get, but it's not bad. Do we want any of these? Again, Max Hole will be fine, but I don't think at this point we want to spend a, a point on it. We die when our shield dies. Purge is fine, but I think I just want the Sanctuary. More shields, more shield effect power. More crash, less thrust, but we're not dependent on thrust a lot anyway. That went well. My only concern is it's going to be hard to get upgrade points like this. Now I just wish there were a way to expand the range of Dying Star a little bit more. I just want to sit in the exact center of the screen.
rebuke is fine. More damage, less friction. Let's see, global damage. It's not going to be a huge increase, though, is it? We don't want Rampage. Do not want Rampage. Well, now you just don't want to give me Solar Heart, do you? What's our burn damage up to now? 214. Not too bad. And our ignite duration is 160. There we go. Hopefully, I managed to edit that out. always annoying when I have to do that for a multitude of reasons That's a lot of enemies. This one's going to be fun. Guess I could regress. Or 
purge. I guess I can do this as well. It's a wild mod. And even though I don't intend to crash into enemies, if they crash into me, it does do some defensive work. This is very awkward. <laughs> Hopping back and forth. But if it works, it works. Singularity. Do you have to escape this one? enemies. Just trying to stay away from these trails. These two. Yeah, just get me out of that one. <laughs> ah. Couldn't quite play smart enough for that one. Probably should have tried the other side. Still, I enjoyed that one. Again, zero protagonist. Spell with X E R O suggested that one, or at least a variant thereof. I took my own twist on it, but the general idea. May want to try that with other shields. 
Maybe even this. Hmm. Not sure I want to try it with discharge, but I may want to try it with discharge one day. In any event, see if I can't edit out that brief disruption and then go from there. As ever, thank you all for stopping by.